I make my smoothies thinner these days because they, um, when they're thicker, I don't know, they get kind of gross after a bit when they warm up. Three flights of these stairs here and I'm just going to do these for as many times as I can. I'm not quite sure how many times actually. I'm going to give it a try. So that was a good little burst of training. I'm going to do it some more. Oh boy, that was good. Ten times. What do you guys say? Good job. Good job. We Good job, you guys. Seconds. Eighty seconds. I wish. All right, so we pulled into this Target on the way home because I got to grab a couple things, and um, so we're gonna run in there really quick. And just out of instinct, I'm like, oh, there's a Starbucks in Target. And just in the back of my head, I thought I remembered I have had three Starbucks cards. Um, gift cards in my purse like all month long and I haven't used them because I don't want to use the points but um, definitely not now what like a couple days to diet vet um, and I thought it was weighing Saturday but then Kimberly one of my viewers down there she's also on the diet vet with me and she um, told me that we actually weigh in on Sunday so on one end I'm like yay I get like an extra day but on the other end, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I was going to go on a date with my husband on Saturday night and celebrate. Well, we can't do that. I'm definitely not going to do Definitely not going to do that. So we'll probably do that. We'll um, probably go out for lunch Sunday afternoon. But, um, but anyway, so pulling into this Target, I'm like, I'm so not going to use that. And it, it, uh, it really occurred to me that, you know, the the urge to go into Starbucks because it's easy and because it would be comforting and because it's just something I would have done out of habit I had to stop myself from doing it you know and so there's so many habits that are like really hard to I think we don't even realize that we have you know like yesterday I automatically just took the sea salt out and started salting my vegetables before even I wasn't even thinking about it. I went to the cupboard to get Mrs. Dash and I instinctively just put this pulled the salt out and started salting my food and then when I was done I said oh I can't believe I did that and so how many more times I mean if that didn't even if that didn't even click with me how many more times do we do a habit and not even realize that we've done a habit that is actually maybe um, impacting our journey you know what I mean? So anyway, I just wanted to bring that up and I didn't know if that maybe made you think about that at all. Okay, so we're leaving Target and everybody has a bag of popcorn and I'm amazed that I'm able to smell it because Target has the best pop tasting popcorn in the world, literally. And it's even better than movie popcorn. You know, it's just, it, it's really good. But I'm able to not have any and not, I, I'm just like, that's another, you know, I'm, you know, I'm surprised. I'm not like going crazy right now. Anyway, very cool. I'm making my second smoothie of the day. This is my lunch smoothie. And I switched my milk to this one, which is one point for a cup of the cashew milk. For the gym, and I've got an eighth, of, I mean, sorry, a quarter of a, an avocado, and I mixed it with um, like a tablespoon of salsa. I've got about an eighth of a cup of pumpkin seeds, and then some peppers, and that's my snack right before gym. Okay, for dinner I'm having some steamed veggies, I've got some pumpkin seeds and sweet potato, and then I cook them in a veggie stock here, the greens, and then um, also I'm having a three-point smoothie with some raspberries for fiber and extra protein. 
and um, that was pretty good actually filled me up pretty good guys end the day okay and um, I am pretty tired <laughs> thank goodness it's Friday um, so I noticed that um, you know my meals are looking really <laughs> I'm so tired I'm sorry they're looking really different and um, I know they are I've got one more day before weigh-in and I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible um, I'm, I wanted to say as clean as possible, but I'm not usually that bad either. I mean, I usually do have a lot of whole foods, I usually do have a lot of plants, um, but I'm trying to keep it with simple foods that I know are going to be eliminated, um, you know, within a certain amount of time, and uh, because I don't want them in my body when it's time to weigh in. And um, I would have to say that I ended up my day today with 15 extra points that I did not use. Um, I couldn't fit anything else in after dinner and I didn't end up eating all my broccoli. I think I left like maybe like four or five big pieces that I just couldn't fit in. Um, and so I felt like I got enough. But from lunch to dinner, I actually ended up getting a little weak and it did affect my workout, my evening workout. I did not like the way I was feeling. Um, I, I am missing my slow burning carbs, my complex carbs. I'm missing those. And then also um, my protein has dropped uh, so the last couple days because I'm not eating any meat or dairy. It's not that easy. It hasn't been that easy for me to get in, um, you know, a certain amount of protein. Um, usually for somebody who's having a plant-based diet, if they're not going to be putting meat and dairy in, it'd be pretty easy for them to build it up using soy, soy related products um, or beans. And um, again, I'm not using the beans because it's um, more of a carb for me, and I'm trying to keep those down at this time. Um, and then also the, um, and I can't have any soy products because I have a really, really hard time with that, and that's on the list anyway um, of the Virgin Diet principles to get that out. So, so I, I, I'm let. You know, I have a little bit of a difficult time finding other things that um, are fitting within that realm to um, to keep my protein up and you know everything else down. So you see a lot of the shakes making it in, and um, I like the shakes; they're good. It's just that you know I just I don't want to live on them. <laughs> I want food, <laughs> so I can't wait until you know I can get back to normal. But um, but I am doing what I'm doing for a reason, and hopefully you know I, I want to ring out every last little um, avenue that I can to make sure that I come within the um, diet bit, you know, uh, points that I'm supposed to be in. I, I, I just, you know, I honestly at this point, I could say to you know, my husband and I were talking, he said, I know that you don't care about, you know, winning any money, um, although that would be, it's always nice, but he said, I know that because he knows me and he said, you just want to finish what you've started. You know, you just want to finish what you've started and you want to cross the finish line and that's exactly it. I want to get there, but I want to know that I did everything to get there in my power. Um, and so that's it. I don't want to look back and say, gosh, well, you know, maybe if you'd have done this, or you'd have just done that. And I'm, I, I think maybe I'm always going to look back and say that, but, um, but I need to make sure that I've really tried my best, you know, so that's so one I'm of doing. the other things that I'm kind of missing is the added salt in the diet. Um, you know, I don't go crazy with salt, but, um, I do like a little bit for flavor. And so what I've been doing is trying to rely on some of the Mrs. Dash, for the saltiness that I needed because it's not really salty. There's no salt in it, but I mean, it's got a little bit of flavor. And then also I started sprinkling, which I forgot to show on camera, started sprinkling a little bit of the nutritional yeast onto my vegetables um, to give it a little bit of a salty, nutty type of a flavor. And that, um, I think I've only used like a teaspoon um, to put on things and that shows up at zero points. 
and um, now for two tablespoons it's like five milligrams of sodium or something so it's like super super low and I'm not even reaching that point so that that's something that's been kind of given a little flavor but anyway um, okay we got one more day and uh, let's see how it goes tomorrow I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna eat tomorrow I, I really feel like getting up and weighing tomorrow just to see you know but um, but I do have to wait until Sunday um, so anyway I will let you go tonight. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I love you, and I hope you all had a really wonderful and productive day today on your journey. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.